she inquired about the timetable for her own referendum. I explained to her that we are constitutionally uh, required to have re-registration next year. And of course, we had given an undertaking to the opposition that we would do that. And then we have the, the uh, we have constitutionally required to have the, the elections, municipal elections. And then we had also have a requirement under the law to do registration. So I told her we had to get those done before we would be able to go into our referendum. And because of those things, we did not see it possible for us to do so before the last quarter of 2018 and maybe the first quarter of 2019. But I gave her the assurance that, in fact, we were serious about moving ahead with it. Is it, I don't want to say set in stone, but is it um, fairly certain that April next year their referendum should take place? Well, that's the information we now have. Um, there is a suggestion that given the past performance of the Guatemalan government, anything can happen, you know. But all the indication we now have is that it is going to be for April. But Guatemala is a difficult country. They have all kinds of internal problems. Um, and of course, they have a much greater financial obligation and financial outlay in attempting to educate their own people on this issue. And Guatemalan resources are very limited, even more limited perhaps than ours. So it's going to be challenging for them to be able to conduct kind of effective education within the timeline that they have. So, but we want to be optimistic.